I've got a couple packages from Amazon. Uh, not Amazon, sorry. I got one package from Amazon and then I got another package that has like nothing on the box. I feel like I know what the big one is, but I'm not entirely sure what the Amazon one is because there's one order I placed. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone to see which one it is. There's one order I placed for the um, for Late's um, stuff for his goodie bags and then the other order I placed for the coffee table book and the tape. So it looks like the goodie bags are still on their way. They're supposed to come today. If they don't come today, then I'm probably going to have to run to the store tomorrow before I pick up late or maybe like on my lunchtime or something um, to grab something for him. And then when those ones come from Amazon, I'll return them. But this, it looks like it's my coffee book. And finally, the tape. Just, I went out to buy tape yesterday and the tape showed up today so lucky me um i'm trying to see if there's like a price difference between what i paid for it versus what um versus what i paid for it at shoppers so i paid 528 for these three and at shoppers i paid six dollars for two so i ended up paying more coffee table book is here i got my louis vuitton to put on top of my architectural digest i love Louis Vuitton. So now I have everything for my coffee table. I have my candles. I have my coffee table books. And so that makes me very, very happy. I feel like I know what this is. And it's very exciting because um, if I'm not mistaken, these are shoes. And um, yes, it is. They're my new boots from Stuart Weissman. And I'm very, very, very excited for these. Um, they were having a sale where it was like 55% off and then with a coupon code you would have gotten an extra 25% off and uh, So I got a pair of ankle boots um, because I already have like OTKs like over-the-knee boots But I very rarely wear them. So I thought I'd buy shoes that I would wear And this makes me very very excited. So I got this is the box that it comes in and I don't own anything from Stuart Weissman so this is a uh, very new territory for me um so we'll see so it comes with this suede product care card uh dust bag for travel and these are the boots oh they're different oh wow these are size nine they look massive maybe it's just me they look really nice though. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be scared to wear this in the winter time. Okay, I'm gonna try it on and see how it looks on my feet. I quite like this. It's basically like your over the knee boot, but they just cut it off at the ankles pretty much. So let's try these ones on and see how we like them. They should slide on fairly easily and I bought them in my size. These are more so for like spring. You don't really want to wear these in snow because the snow will damage them. That's cute. Mm. I don't know how I feel about them. They're like sock booties. I don't know if you can see them. Hold on. You tilt that down. Do you see that? They're not bad. The thing is, I, just, I have thick calves, so I'm not entirely sure. But I think they're quite nice. Let's put the other foot on and see how that goes. There. So this is what they look like on. Just turn up the lights a little bit. So you guys can see that. This is pretty much what they look like they're not bad you know what these are super nice i like them i think they'll get a lot of wear i just don't think they go with my pants right now um but i think if i were to wear it with like a mini dress it would look really cute um so i'm gonna keep them it looks like these are a keeper i'm gonna keep them they look really nice um, and I think with wear, actually, they'll look even better. They're like regular price, like $750, and then they had them 55% off. And then I got an additional 25% on top of that. So I think it ended up being like under uh, 290 bucks. And then on top of that, I used Rakuten, which and at that time, 
Stuart Weissman was having 6% cash back. So I ended up getting back like 16 bucks back, which was amazing. Really hoping that his uh, goodie bag stuff comes today because they need to go to school for tomorrow so that they can be quarantined um, to give them to his classmates on Tuesday. I don't think I said, welcome to Vlogmas. Welcome to Vlogmas, it is Vlogmas day 10. I completely forgot to bring my camera to work with me uh, today, so I'm just not picking it up when we get, got home at like four o'clock. So for today's agenda, I am hoping to, uh, I'm gonna make dinner. Uh, tonight's dinner is gonna be salmon. I still need to edit yesterday's vlog. Um, there's not a lot of action, but there's a lot of talking, and I don't think you get to see Hina in, in that vlog. It's been such a busy week that we've barely even like had time to even talk to each other. And she came home and went to bed super early last night. Laith also went to bed super early last night, and I went to bed a little bit earlier than usual. I think I went to bed at like 11.30. So yeah, yesterday was a pretty early day. I think we were both just kind of beat. So Leith is just over there having uh, apples and playing on his leapfrog. We've decided no more iPad, no more YouTube. He can just do educational activities on his leapfrog now, so that's what he's doing. Um, set up the table. I want to keep it as simple as possible just to kind of like make room for um, anything like flowers or anything like that. In fact, I actually think I'll probably end up moving that candle from the coffee table just to the TV stand there on that side. I think it'll look really good over there on the other side of the TV stand. Um, and so I probably might end up just moving that and then, um, just leave the books on the table. So then that way we can actually like really use it, like have drinks on it, um, snacks and stuff like that. Cause we do want it to get used. We want it to get loved. We want to kind of like create memories with the things that we have. So there's the candle up there, which looks really nice. I think once the um, garland comes down the candle is probably gonna move up there but I think what's gonna end up happening is I'll put the candle on one side and then my African Queen bust is gonna come back and go on the other side over there so it's on either side of the mirror so right here for now I think it looks pretty good so I'm gonna give it a light with candles like this you have to light it for at least uh, two hours so that it can burn and make an even pool. The wicks are already trimmed pretty low, so I'm not gonna trim them until after um, it's been blown out. But there we go. I'm actually quite liking it right here on the, um, on the edge of the table, because then that way it gives me the whole, this whole space and i could just i could use it i could sit on the floor and work here also this is the stain that ended up getting us this table 75 percent off by the way just letting you know and i actually quite love this stain because one it, this is a money saving stain and two it looks like it's a part of the table to be honest with you and so i wouldn't i don't really care to get rid of it it doesn't bother me at all um so i really quite i love this table because it is very expensive and we got it for a bargain and a half actually gonna move the boxes out of the way so that you can get the whole vision that i'm going for so i'm gonna put these over here tomorrow is garbage day and so this is all of our recycling <laughs> i'm gonna actually take my deck the hall set from the dining table and show you what i mean when i say just the flowers and the coffee table books is such a good beautiful look so in case you guys wanted to do something like this in your house, let me show you what it'll look like. So if I were to take this and just kind of put it on the table, this is pretty much 
kind of like what it'll look like. Just to give you an idea, this is a really, really good look. Actually, what I would do is I would put the flowers on the other side and then the books on this side. And the reason for that being, usually when people come into this room, they're gonna be looking at it from this angle. And from this angle, all you can see are the flowers. So if we switch things around, it'll kind of give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit more depth. Sorry guys, I'm not an interior designer. I'm just telling you what works <laughs> and what works for me. So I'm gonna push this here and put this here. And then just gonna shift this over a little bit. Now, when you look at it from this angle, it looks very luxe, it looks very kind of put together. I'm gonna go give it a look from the kitchen. This is what we're working with from the kitchen. Looks. I don't know, I think it looks amazing personally. I mean, it's totally subjective. This is just kind of like to give you an idea because this is going back on the dining table. Then you can add natural elements like that wooden bowl over there. You can pull it and put it on top of the book um, and just to keep it simple. So you can put the books in the middle, wooden bowl on top, and then that's that, like you're done for. We're gonna take away this arrangement and put it back on the coffee table, on the dining table. So what you could do is you can put this guy in the middle like this. You can also even face it this way, whatever works for you. And then I have this kind of rustic wooden bowl that I picked up in a lot from Kijiji. You just put it right on top. There you go, done. So there you have it. Looks a little bit off more to the right, but just to give you kind of like an idea of different ways that you can style your coffee table with just these two books you can go like super simple or you can just go like super dramatic and over the top like i did with the arrangements and that would also look really nice blueberries, blueberries? No, i don't have green berries i don't have blackberries i have blueberries you would you like some blueberries um, what else would you would you like a banana uh -huh. would you like a granola bar Mm-hmm, granola bar? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you a granola bar, okay? Go pick it up, please, and put it where it belongs. Where does it belong? Where do Very good, garbage. Thank you. All right, guys, it is 5.20. Just went and had a late change and everything. There is so much work upstairs for me to do. Oh my God, I'm like drowning in laundry again. I feel like I just did laundry. I feel like I just did laundry. The seared salmon with the roasted cauliflower. This should be fairly simple because we have cauliflower left over from yesterday's dinner. So I'm just gonna do the salmon. Um, olive oil, salt, pepper, salmon, garlic, capers, parsley leaves. We don't have capers because we're not a caper household. Hina and I are just not fans of capers. Parsley leaves, chopped, don't have parsley. That is okay. I think I have ground parsley. <laughs> so I'll just use it to uh, season the salmon. And then I think you just kind of sear it. It'll take 10 minutes and that'll be dinner. So I think we're going to do that for dinner. It's 530 is going to be done well before Hina gets home but I'll just eat and then she can eat when she comes home. This candle I can smell from all the way upstairs and so once I have my even pool I'm going to blow it out because I need to stretch this candle. When I say I need to stretch this candle I need to stretch this candle. <laughs> I'm going to get started on dinner. Um, it'll be done well before Hina comes home but at least It'll be done, and then I can eat. So I don't need to follow this recipe because I know how to cook salmon, um, but we're just gonna re-roast the cauliflower. I'm gonna actually just cut off the florets and then um, just re-roast them in the oven with some olive oil and some cheese, and it'll taste really good. <laughs> Oh, 
strange. Why? No, that's pretty cool. So birthday loot bags are ready to go. There's one for each classmate. And the teacher usually hands them out at the end of class. So I didn't send one for Lathe because there's tons here at home. He's going to have one himself. So hopefully they don't see this until the end of class so that they don't get jealous. But what I really love about this is that this is like a scratch off kind of pad. So you can write on it with a stick. So I was able to personalize each and every one of them for each student. And then the other thing that I did was I matched the Play-Doh that I put in there with the tissue paper. So... This lilac tissue paper has lilac play-doh. This yellow tissue paper has yellow play-doh, blue play-doh, orange play-doh. So I thought that was really cute and this is going to school for the kids tomorrow. And then they're gonna get it on his birthday, which is next Tuesday. Uh, this is what we got for him. The Crayola Color Wonder Mess Free Coloring Activity Set. So basically it comes with five markers and lots of paper to color on. And the parents can repurchase more paper if they want to. Comes with 24 page color wonder coloring pad, three sticker sheets, one ink pad, five stamps, one stamp holder, and five markers. And the only place that you'll see colors on the paper. And I thought that was a really great uh, loot bag gift because it ensures very little mess for the kids and parents. It is. It's 9.42, Leith is down, Hina put him down tonight, um, and even though she put him down, I was like, okay, she's going to put him down, and while she's putting him down, I'm going to um, get started on editing the vlog. I ended up doing other stuff, so I had to finish his goodie bags, his loot bags for his birthday to send to school tomorrow, because... Um, they need to go into quarantine before they give them to the students. I'm just having a glass of wine and I have my water and I'm going to get started on editing the vlog now and my hope is to have it uploaded <laughs> before midnight but I don't think that's going to happen because it's quarter to ten so I'm going to get started really quickly and see how fast I can go and I'm just going to like hammer it in and then if I'm done before midnight then I'll just go ahead and edit this vlog too so that it's up and ready for you. Even though you guys have been so understanding with when I upload I really and truly appreciate that you're being so patient with me because y'all really understand like the real ones know how hard it is to vlog and like stay married. <laughs> <laughs> so I really hope you enjoy uh, this vlog and the one before this that I'm about to upload. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and I will catch you in the next one for Vlogmas Day 11. <laughs>